Hey, my heads, my name is Ray Jaden. Look. What the hell? My mouse is broken. Looks like if I want to play a Team Fortress 2, I have to code an entire AI that uses aimbot hacks and make pathing for it on every single map and add features like playing annoying noises, using the voice chat, and voting to kick normal players. Doesn't that seem like a little bit too much effort to just play the game? J j just get a new mouse. The fuck did you just say? I love ruining good things. Team Fortress 2 is one of the most beloved multiplayer games of all time. It's a class-based team FPS by Valve with a pretty big fan base that's stuck with it since 2007. Through thick and thin and the entire decade where Valve completely forgot that they made the game and abandoned it except for like one person and his fucking dog. But that fan base has been getting closer and closer to the end of its rope. Sure, TF2 still pulls consistently higher player counts, but over the past few years, the game has been getting more and more unplayable, and not because of bugs, but because of something else. Let's see what that something else is. TF2 has always suffered from cheaters, nothing new unfortunately, it's just a normal thing in multiplayer games. But over the past few years, that problem has only gotten worse with something called the bot crisis. Basically, since around 2017 or so, people decided that uh, letting people have fun is kind of dumb, so they decided to infest the casual servers of TF2 with bots. But before I decide to yell at the people who make these bots and insult them for 7 hours straight, let's look at the history of these fuckers. Because we're looking at bots in TF2, you might as well start with the first actual bots in TF2. The training bots. You can find them in the training mode that was added after the Mac release of TF2 in 2010. I feel like these bots were worth a mention just so you know that I'm not gonna be talking about them. Because holy shit how far we have come. As I said, cheaters have been around in TF2 for a long time. It's absolutely nothing new, but the bots began to originate around 2015 with some intense bot development, and the first actual wave of bots was in late 2017 to 2018. The bots were similar to the ones that are still around, except they were more stupid because their AI wasn't as, uh, quote unquote, smart, aka annoying, as they are today. I started playing TF2 around 2013 or 2014, and I vaguely remember these bots, but it wasn't a massive problem yet. Well, it kinda was, but this would only begin to escalate. Nowadays, these bots are tied to websites or channels or whatever, but back then they were really only tied to their original programmers. But this did begin to lay the groundwork for the invasion soon to come, especially as some of these bot projects became open source, namely cat bots, which were rampant at this time meaning anyone could just create one. Valve actually remembered that they made TF2 in 2018 and tried to ban these bots based on name alone. That didn't work though because the account creation could just be automated at this time. But the catbots and their creator eventually got banned, but the damage had been done as now the open source project that was used to make these bots was out there. But as I said, it only gets worse. Though for a good while, the bot problem had seemed to kind of dissipate. Some bots would appear here and there, but it was actually manageable. Remember how we were all stuck at home in 2020? No you don't, that was 70 years ago. A lot of people turned to gaming as an outlet of entertainment during a pretty shit period in a lot of our lives, and along with games like Minecraft and Among Us, TF2 was a pretty big choice among people. So while we were having our entertainment, what about the programmers? They would either make games, or steal the source code of TF2. In 2020, Valve reported that the source code for TF2 and CSGO had been leaked. This turned the bot problem into a much more widespread problem as now the code was really easy to access. People could just see how the already existing training bots in TF2 worked, tweak them a bit, and now they've invented a new type of annoying, Annoying 2.0, the sequel. They could also just bypass all the anti-cheat because they had access to the fucking code. This was the era of more advanced bots who wouldn't just spin and kill people. But also, be racist! Yeah, TF2 became kind of unplayable due to this new wave of bots, which are called the Edgelord, haha, <laughs> aren't I just so funny for being racist? <laughs> bots. A common name that you would see a lot is the My God Bots, which was a new bot hosting thing. These bots would have edgy names or whatever and spam dumb racist, homophobic, and transphobic shit in chat. They would also play music through the voice chat. This is my soundtrack right here. They could also steal other players' names, not as a spy, but they would literally just steal your name and then get you voted out by accident. Or the bots can just vote you out! Yeah, they can do that now. Also, some bots could just join a server and overload it, causing people's games to just crash. Isn't this just so much fun? TF2 was not in a good state at all. 
and had become borderline unplayable due to the cheating bots and the awful things that they would spam in chat, and this problem kept persisting. The community that had been built around TF2 for over 13 years at this point was getting closer and closer to giving up. Prior to 2023, the last major TF2 update was in 2017, and the game had basically been abandoned since. This had left the community to solve the issues for Valve's own game that they had forgotten. Oh, there's botting problems in Team Fortress 2? So that means you guys want Counter-Strike 2, right? From 2020 to 2022, the bot problem only kept getting worse. You basically could not play on casual servers, which begs the question, why even play on casual servers? It's a fair question, I personally just like casual servers more. You get to level up, the games actually end, and you can't just steal the intelligence 30 times without anything happening, and you can actually play the game when you're not in a lobby with bots. Most of my TF2 community server experiences have been... Which is fun, and funny, but I prefer playing the game, pretty understandably. Wait, what am I talking about? This is some serious shit! <laughs> but either way, the state the game was in was unacceptable. Valve had let one of their most beloved games become an unplayable mess, and the community was sick of it. Sad to see. Sad to see them fall like this. They were truly one of the online games of all times, ruined by hackers. What, what, what the hell is TF2? So the community banded together, led by some big TF2 content creators, to make a movement called Save TF2. Art was made, videos were made, tweets were posted. A lot of tweets were posted. The movement was started by Squim Jim in the video, Maybe it's time we get Valve to do something about TF2 and the movement started around May 7th where Jim told his viewers to go and contact Valve and tell them to do something, anything, about the bot problem. They also emailed gaming news sites and got articles about the situation viral, like IGN's article. The movement didn't get a name until May 24th where multiple creators staged an online peaceful protest that would occur two days later. May 26th was the big day of the protest. Tons of videos and art pieces and tweets were made to not only call for action, but also just celebrate the game and that it had a big fan base that's only grown over the past 15 years. Some major TF2 creators didn't take part in the movement, but the reasons why were pretty understandable. Some of them just didn't think Valve would do anything. They hadn't updated the game in five years, why would they do it now? Could they be trusted? And some other creators just thought the movement wasn't enough to stop the bot problem. Everybody was talking about the game, wanting Valve to just respond. And by god, they fucking did it. <laughs> Valve actually responded to the protest on May 26th, saying that they would be taking steps to fix the game. This was their first tweet on the Team Fortress 2 account in two years. The one Valve employee kept in the basement of the Valve offices that's still working on TF2 finally remembered the password. And while people remained skeptical of if Valve was actually going to fix their game at all, people celebrated this as it wasn't only Valve saying that they were going to fix TF2, it was also an acknowledgement that Valve actually remembered the game existed. But now came the wait. Would Valve actually fix Team Fortress 2? Yeah. They actually did it! Valve updated TF2 and the bots slowly seemed to disappear, and casual games were as peaceful as casual TF2 matches can be. Destroy! Go! Which what is not very peaceful. TF2 seemed to finally be in a good place with the bots. There was a chance you could still run into them, but the game was playable, something it hadn't really been in two years. In other news... A prominent member in the TF2 cheating community and a bot hoster, Dashu was arrested on four counts of... Uh, um, how, do, how do I say this? Um, control points. Take the first letter of both of those words and you'll understand what I mean. He also attempted to groom a minor. Who would have guessed that someone who hosted bots that would spam deplorable shit in chats and also links to mm, control points would be a predator? I would have never seen that coming. He was rightfully sentenced to 19 and a half years in jail. Get fucked, loser! I usually say something like that ironically. Uh, as a joke. But I mean it, Dashy. I'm gonna sell you, fucker. Anyway, back to the bots. No. The bot crisis is... <laughs> Definitely not over. 
and it will probably be an everlasting battle between the community, bot hosters, and Valve when they remember TF2 exists. Which, since 2022, they have been doing. This year, Valve released a Summer 2023 update, the biggest TF2 update since 2017. With the update came TF2's highest concurrent player count ever, hitting a peak of over 250,000, shattering the record of over 160,000, not even set a year prior. And the best part, a large majority of these 250,000 people were real. The bot problem seemed to be just a small issue now. TF2 had become more popular than ever, and maybe that's the push Valve needed to keep working on the game. It's also the push the bot devs needed to ruin the game for everyone. Yeah, the bot crisis is not over. As I said, this will probably be something that goes on until the servers for TF2 shut down. The bot problem has picked up again recently. It's definitely not as bad as it was a few years ago, and you can actually get into games without bots, but it's still a pretty big problem. So let's take a look at today's bots. Prepare to compete in 30 seconds. Yeah guys, I'm thinking of becoming a full-time TF2 player. The bots nowadays run on similar AI to the bots from the 2020 crisis. They spin and walk around, instantly killing people, saying, FOY SHOT MIGHT! Playing music on the voice chat, playing a really annoying <laughs> noise, and not spamming awful shit in chat, instead just spamming links to YouTube channels and Steam profiles, and they still randomly vote to ban you from the lobby. A common name with these bots is My God, which I mentioned earlier. My God was a hacker group in the 2000s whose sole purpose was to ruin games for other players. So, it would be no surprise that they would create bots just to ruin people's fun in TF2, right? But, my god, it's faded from the public eye. Uh, and also, bots probably wouldn't be as fun as just hacking. So, is it really them? No fucking idea! I don't really care either, it's just annoying. The bot problem is still rampant, but manageable. But how do these things work? Oh. Yeah, these things are dumb. You may think just because they headshot you from 16 miles away that it's a really, really smart bot. But then they do this. The only reason why they get really good shots on you is because they're built off of aimbot hacks. Other than that, these bots are fucking morons. They all very clearly have a set path that they follow, and when they're being shot at in the open, they kind of just keep walking on that path and do nothing about it. Good shot, mate. Good shot. Good shot, mate. These bots can be really hard to kill unless you have like five soldiers who all shoot rockets at it at the same time. They'll also sometimes take a melee weapon out and one shot you. Somehow. Moral of the story? Don't hack in games, you'll look like a dumbass. But why? Why do these people make these bots? To ruin the game for other people? Yes. For a sense of gratification? Is it just a fun programming project? I think it's time we get some answers. Why are we still here? I decided to go to one of the YouTube channels that the bots keep spamming and found out that this is just kind of their thing. They make bots and kind of dumb ones at that. I'm not going to put their channel name in this video, so one, they don't get any extra exposure for being an asshole, but two, some people don't go harass them. Don't harass them, you'd be just as bad, maybe even worse than the bot devs. So I decided to go to one of their videos and leave a comment asking them why they make the bots. Not out of anger and with no ill intention or anything, I was genuinely just interested and wanted to know why they made the bots. And they responded. Hey, awesome question time. Why do you do this? I don't ask this out of anger or anything, I'm genuinely just curious. Wow, what a response, am I right? I really understand their motives now! I responded again saying that I didn't want to be hacked or something and asked for the dev to just tell me. That was not gonna work. So I caved. But there were some things I had to do first. I made a new email not connected to any of my other emails and made a new Discord account and joined the server. And here is- <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. And, and, and here's what happened. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Here's what happened. Oh. <laughs> a. 
and I got banned. <laughs> yeah, so I got instantly banned. <laughs> Don't know what the pings were, they could have been my IP address for all I know, but it feels a little shitty to beg people to join your Discord server and then ban them five seconds later. Hello? Hey, are you selling bowls? No. Damn. Hey, how many bowls do you want? I'll take three. Alright. That'll be a total of seven hundred and fifty dollars and fifty six cents. Well, what the fuck? That's an extortionate no, price. No, 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 sir. Believe me, you need these balls. No, I don't. I can spend seven hundred and fifty dollars and fifty six cents on that guy selling mugs next to you. Buy this mug for seven hundred and fifty dollars and fifty six cents. No, no. Believe me, these balls will change your life. They are so bully. Why are three balls seven hundred and fifty dollars and fifty six cents? Bowl. Damn, you got me there. Please, sir, I am begging you, buy these bowls. No. Pretty please with an egg on top. No. No, no, you gotta. Why? I'm getting scammed here. That is absolutely not what goes on in these bowls. Fine. Buy, buy, buy the fucking bowls if you let my family go. Perfect. Also, you wanna know something cool? Sure. Uh, hold on, just one second. Just one second, just one second, and I'll get back to you. Um, cool. 157.15.208.233. What, what the hell? That's my ID. 3422 Oakway Lane, Los Angeles. Hey, yeah, that's, that's my address. What the hell is going on Latitude here? Latitude 34.14372, longitude negative 180. Whoa, what does that even mean? 295563. Your mother's maiden name is Jeffrey. Your card number is 47166103 Did I get that right? What, what the fuck? There's a hitman being sent to your exact location. Gee, gee, Jesus Christ, do I still get my oh, balls? Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't worry, you'll still get your uh, balls. Thank you. So while that mission was a fucking failure, I did find some interesting things in that server that could lead us to a really simple answer to why they do this. In that server, they had a channel dedicated to the chat logs of whatever server their bot was in at that moment. Probably to catch people getting angry so the devs can laugh because they're shit people. And I control f in that channel to find my name and I was, uh, I, I, I was there. What the fuck? I was only in there once, but it was still weird as hell. But this leads me to the conclusion that these people just like to make bots because they like hacking and ruining games for people. I'm pretty sure everybody came to that conclusion before me. I think the answer is genuinely that simple. If it was just a fun programming project, why would these bot developers still be at it today after years of this shit? TF2 is just an easy target for them because the VAC system sucks and the game barely gets updated. Also, another interesting bit of info, a prominent name that I've seen at least up billion times over the past two weeks in TF2 as a bot that I won't say on video for the same reasons I said earlier was in this Discord server. I guess all the devs are connected in some way? Hell no, it doesn't make them less annoying. So what now? What do we do when these bot creators just won't stop? What can we do? Well, I think I've figured it out. Step one, if you get in a game with bots, either keep requeuing or try your best to get the bots banned from the lobby. If you're in a game where everyone is a bot, your best bet is to just leave. If you're in a game with mostly real people, but some bots, try your best to vote them out. But most importantly, step two, keep playing Team Fortress 2. We showed Valve how important this game is to so many people last year, so why should we stop there? Every single year for the past few years, TF2 has shattered its own player count records. Keep doing that. Don't let the stupid bots deter you from having fun. If we keep playing TF2, I think we could get Valve to give this game the love it deserves. And I think I can prove this because over the past two years, people have shown how much they love this game and Valve has actually been updating the game somewhat consistently. Not always massive updates, but patches every once in a while and sometimes these patches directly target the bots. And also keep talking about the game. Keep showing Valve how much we love this game. It worked last year, it may work again. And also keep making cool shit. TF2 spawned thousands of SFMs, and in the mix of those animations have been some truly great animations. I mean, hell, this year we got an entire full-length horror movie called Emesis Blue made entirely in SFM with the TF2 characters. And it's a legitimately good movie. 
It's well made, confusing, but in a good way, and a, a technical masterpiece. It's no wonder Fortress Films spent over five years on it. Also, host some TF2 events or something to drag new people into the game. I'm working on my own TF2 competition where everyone plays as medic. Do shit like that. Keep telling Valve how beloved this game really is. And if you're wondering, but will Valve keep updating the game? It's uh, pretty old. Valve is still updating Half-Life 1 and 2, which are 20 year old games. I don't think Valve has a problem with updating old games. I just think they thought no one cared about TF2 anymore, but that's far from the case. So before I end this video, I want to tell you to not harass the devs of these bots. It's something I shouldn't have to tell you to do, but you know, People will do it, even though it's common knowledge to not just harass people. Don't do that. Yeah, they're annoying. Yeah, they ruin the game. But you going out of your way to harass and threaten these devs proves that you are no better than them. In fact, you might even be worse. Unless you're harassing Dashi for being a predator, then, you know, kind of deserve. Bullying the bot devs won't fix TF2. It won't do anything. It may actually just make the problem worse. So just be kind. It's really not that hard. At the time of writing, the bots are definitely still around and the game can be a little unplayable, but something new has happened that I haven't seen in TF2 before. Some of the bots that I've seen constantly in games over and over have been slowly fizzled out. A bot named Indigo plagued my TF2 matches for a while, but around the 21st of November, I was playing TF2 when I saw this. The bot tried to join, but got absolutely fucked over because, I guess, Valve removed TF2 from the bot's library. And on Thanksgiving Day, while I was recording some footage for this video, I saw Pyro Gaming, a bot I've seen countless times. Tried to join the game like 50 times, but it kept getting banned because the back anti-cheat actually fucking worked! To this day, I haven't seen these bots ever again, and it looks like the bots are slowly being banned one by one. Valve is actually doing something! Or I'm reading too far into this, I don't fucking know. But because Valve will probably forget about the existence of this game in another year, I've taken up the job of hunting down these bots myself. Except I'm doing it in real life! Don't know how that'll work. That must mean there's a bot here. Alright, let's do this. Sure is taking a while for this bot to show up. Void Jolt Mike! Never mind. Alright, time for plan. Void Jolt Mike! Shut up. Void Jolt Mike! The, what the hell is wrong with you? Good shot! I'm gonna hit you with a baseball bat. Good shot! Alright, Jose, I didn't warn you. Alright, well that's the end of that. But... <laughs>